up, y'all! It has been a minute since I used my 3 doodler start. It is a 3D printing pen with eco-plastic. There are a lot of 3D pens on the market, many that are created for adults. There are a ton of different filaments that you can use like ABS and PLA and a ton of different colors. The 3 Doodler Start, however, is a little more limiting. The company does advise you to use their filament to get optimal results. But the reason I like it is because the plastic is eco-friendly, it's biodegradable, BPA-free, and the nozzle is pretty safe. I'm a little clumsy, so that is a concern for me. But I do want to upgrade to the 3 Doodler Create because I just kind of feel like I'll be able to do more. I don't know. But regardless of which pen I'm using, I could still use more practice. So we're going to make some stuff with our 3 Doodler Smart today. Oh boy, you can tell I've been working on things and then forgot about them. So here's the pen and the adapter so it can be charged. We do have a full review on our channel, so you can go and check that out if you're interested in learning more about this pen. I'll put the link in the description box below. I am going to charge the pen right quick. While waiting, let's take an inventory of the filament we have on hand. I have a couple multicolor packs. I guess we can do something with that. We have green. Some leftovers with blue, red, green, and gray. More gray, white, and glow-in-the-dark. Ooh, let's make something with white. Inspired by the OMG doll, Miss Royale. In my review, I called this little pink thing here a hoop skirt. And then many of you were like, no, it's a cage skirt. So I did a little research on Pinterest and fell in love. The cage skirt has been all over the runway in 2013, 2015, 2019. There have been lots of bridal trends. So that's what we're gonna do today. I am using a Barbie color reveal doll as a body form. I need a surface to draw on. So I'm using a piece of paper and I cover it in tape. All right, that works. Turn on the pen, wait for the red light to turn green. All right, we're good to go. Now we can just add the filament. Then let's draw a line around the doll's waist where we want the skirt to start. And then I just kind of stopped right there. Let's add a little bit more filament on the end to create like a little knob. Since it's not really hot, I can shape it with my finger to get it to look the way I want. Then let's make a circle on the other end. Ah, that is not what I was trying to do. <laughs> let's try again. Okay, that is better. I'm gonna try to shape it a little bit before it dries. So we can take this part and place it over that part. And it creates a little belt. Yay! Now we can remove it from the doll, place it on the paper, and draw a larger C shape going around it. Trying to be neat here. Ah, oh, I ran out of filament. All right, let's try that again. I think we can just add on to it. It's not the most perfect rounded shape, so you could totally draw your design on the paper before you add the tape, and that will probably give you cleaner results. But I don't wanna waste the plastic, and we're just experimenting here, so let's keep going. I'm gonna add another C on the outside. Just trying to take my time and get some halfway even lines. I think I'm doing slightly better this time. Oh yeah. And then I messed up, great. Now let's add just one more. So we have a nice full skirt here. Well, that's the theory anyway. And there we go. We can go over these lines a couple of times to make them thicker. I did make the lines a little thicker, and now we can just remove them from the paper, place the belt on the doll, take the smallest C and place it around the doll. And this is gonna take some fancy maneuvering to try to get this suspended while holding the doll at the same time. I'm just gonna start in the back and draw a line from the belt to the C. 
There we go. And while it's still wet, or before it's completely dried, we can take a little time to maneuver it. Ugh. Okay, so I just accidentally broke the entire belt in half, and I had to take some time to repair it. Now we can attach this piece in the back and add more connecting lines. All right, it's starting to look like something. Those connection points can be a little fragile, so you might wanna take some time to just kind of smush it in before it dries to make sure you got some good contact. Now let's add the next layer. Hmm. I'm not really getting the shape I was hoping for. It's kind of like swooping out rather than, you know, curving over. I'm gonna leave the last one off and see what we can do with this. So let's add some more lines. We can even try to get fancy and do little cross designs on the skirt. I think I did a little better in the back. I was getting the hang of it <laughs> at that point. Um, in the front, not so much. Let's remove it from the body form. I paired it with a white tube dress to make this look. Now that we've done our first one, let's try again. This time, I'm gonna try using the top of a bottle. Drawing directly on top, I'm just gonna draw a bunch of lines going down. You know what? I'm gonna cover this with plastic first because it was difficult to remove. I am wrapping it with a little cling wrap. Try to get the wrinkles out of there and use a couple of rubber bands to hold it down. Now we can draw on it, making nice long straight lines. Then make a circle around the top and now I'm just gonna add lines going all the way around, trying to make some really cool patterns and designs here. Oh wow, this is so much easier than the first time. And I think I'm being neater and moving a little faster. I do make sure to push it down before it completely dries so everything kind of meshes together. I could have did a little better with being evenly spaced though. All right, let's go ahead and remove the rubber bands and try to remove this from the bottle. I left it completely open in the front, so hopefully that helps. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Then just place it around the doll's waist for our cage skirt, Mark Two. It is just resting on her hips, so the challenge here is finding a bottle with a small enough opening so it can fit the doll. And we might wanna bring the sides in just a little bit more next time. I'm gonna try this bottle of maple syrup next. I got the bottle wrapped, and yes, I am recycling my plastic wrap. Then let's start at the waist. Then let's add a few lines going around. I connected them on the front and I'm gonna decorate it with a bunch of lines just going down, just like a bird cage. And I did the technique where you just divide the space in half and then you divide it in half again. Sorry, after every line, I have to go back and just kind of tap it to make sure it's connected. Okay, now we're gonna add another line that's halfway between the last two lines. This is actually kind of like uh, relaxing. Now we're adding one more line. You could just put on a show and sit here and color bottles all day to make doll skirts, cause that's normal. And once they're dried, I'm gonna go over it again just to give it a little more strength. Totally giving me some birdcage vibes here. Let's add a little more to the back. Maybe some little curly-like details. Oh, that is so sloppy. Hurry up, remove it. Remove it before it's stuck there forever. I am adding more lines going across at the top. Then let's add some triangles. I'm just wanting this to look really ornate. Let's go over those lines one last time to make sure everything is secure. Oh boy, I hope I can remove this. Okay, 
Oh, well that's not sticking. Uh-oh, something's sticking over here. Uh, come on. Don't break. What is sticking? Oh, the rubber band at the top. Don't break, don't break, don't break. Ah, we did it. Here is our cage skirt. And I think it looks pretty good. And it looks pretty cool on our model. So when it comes to making these cage skirts, I am definitely going to stick with drawing on something 3D like a bottle. So we've made three skirts and you can totally see our progression here. Our first one is totally inconsistent with shape. The second one came out pretty nice actually, but it is a little thin and fragile. Our third one is definitely the sturdiest of them all, and it happens to be the largest. I just ran around my house looking for something else I could use, and I found this giant decorative egg. I've already wrapped it in plastic, added the rubber bands, but with this, there is no neck at the top like there was with the bottles. So I made a quick little band around the doll's waist, then carefully remove it, place it on top of the egg, and begin drawing my lines. I was going to break that. This one is pretty delicate. I do have a couple of loose pieces I need to go and mend real fast. And I'm starting to run out of filament, so I think that is the largest one we can make. Today, this one has a much smaller opening for the waist, so we're just gonna see how that fits. Oh boy. Can it fit? <laughs> But we got it. The waist is definitely snug, so you might want to go a tiny bit larger than you think you're going to need, because once all that buildup starts, it does add more to the waistline. What I like about this project is that it didn't take a ton of time. I feel like the learning curve is pretty good and you can quickly progress. However, being totally accurate with your lines, well, that was a little challenging for me. But we can also use the pen to make a top, drawing directly onto the body form, then carefully remove it. Remember, these things are fragile. Then place it on the doll for more detail. This is a lot of fun. It feels like you're creating your own little couture line for the runway. And I am really interested in seeing what else we can make with other 3D pens. Thank you for joining us while we made a cage skirt for our dolls using the Three Doodler Start. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuff and the frog vlog. And we will see you next time.